All right. So. Yeah, this is it. Oh man, I'm so over this hair though. Just shave it. Shave it. This, this is going good. Listen. Listen. Okay, so I wanted to tell you the story. I like talk about Hunter GK Thompson like a lot. If anybody else is watching, you don't know who he is. He's like a Bethel music artist. And I just went to worship you like a week or two ago and he was there and he like taught a lot of classes and did the band sessions and everything and he's just like really cool. Um, so yeah, so unfortunately I can't say like, you know, most people, they have like, crushes on celebrities and, and stuff and they can like, you know, pretend without shame. <laughs> He's just like such a normal dude, and uh, dude. and I interacted with him very awkwardly, I might add. Yeah, so I was just gonna tell that story. So basically, I was at Bethel, and I had gotten super duper sick, like face coming out of face, all all of the nonsense, <laughs> like coughing, sneezing. Wheezing, just bad. I actually wasn't wheezing, but you know, like I'm just saying, it was it was pretty bad. Um, we had this class. It was called reviewing your song, and you got to basically just play your song for a few Bethel artists. They would critique it. They would encourage you. Blah blah blah. So, um, I decided that even though I was ridiculously sick and probably sounded like a dying frog, I was going to try. Okay, so what happened was there were like a few things that happened that I regretted not doing and I didn't do them out of fear. So I was like, okay. I was like, psst, thank you. If you're afraid, do it. You look, do, oh, hello screen. Oh, or not, or, or not. Yeah, my screen's like, nah, nah, bro. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and it's backwards, but it says, do the crap you're afraid to do, you will regret not doing it. I was in this class, and I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna share a song. Oh, 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 hello. All right, well, you can just chill up. Chill up there, I guess. Like, I'm going to flipping share a song, even though song isn't very good and I've never sung it in front of people and it's terrifying and it's also Stephanie Gritzinger and Hunter G. K. Thompson and um <sighs> I'm down in the front row because I'm like oh this is probably gives me like a better chance to like get up and do my thing and stuff and so uh yeah so I was like oh I'm gonna sit here and see if I can, you know, play my song. Do -do 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 -do. Anxiously, anxiously waiting on the seat. On my seat. I'm sitting there, right? And he comes and he sits right, right in front of me. I have the picture because I'm a weirdo. Oh, and I had to prove it. I was like, I was sitting next to Hunter G.K. Thompson for like an hour. He was right right there <laughs> see i'm not i'm not actually like one of those people who was like oh my gosh i'm handcuffed i'm uh, this is i just uh, it's not me i mean i've had my fair deal with like people that i've looked up to and admired and gone out of my way to be around them or they're just people and they're like artists and especially when you see them you can see that they're really like they know that they're just people. But Hunter... Hunter, I just... Kinda had a crush on him. So it was just a whole different... Whole different thing! Uh... <laughs> which I didn't realize, like, I actually probably legitimately managed to develop a crush on this man. Um... <laughs> don't... Don't ask me how this these things happen. Hard. Sitting right, right next to me, and, and meanwhile, I'm in 
blow your freaking face off your face, Bill. To you. Hang away. My. And probably his sanity. The poor man. Poor man! Probably wanted to get up and walk away about like 75 times. Absolutely guaranteed. Being a decent human. Sat there. Sat there and listened to me blow my brains out for like an hour. So that was cool. Just coughing. <laughs> the whole, whole time. Um, very distracting. I made a few comments. He laughed. Told him the thing was a loot. Points. Got points for the loot. So um, they were like, okay, one last person. One last person. So I jumped. I I jumped. I jumped up. Jumped. Jumped. I jumped up and I was like, uh, can I go? And he was like, oh, well, actually, we're gonna have a guy go. Because you know, it would have been like, girl, girl, guy. And so he was like, oh, we'll have another guy go. Little did he know my heart was broken. It's okay. It's okay, you know. Gender equality doesn't need to be a thing. I guess it's equality and... Anyway. Yes, all was said and done, and I was like, ah, you know, it's okay. Like, I learned a lot because, you know, you get to hear, like, the feedback on other people's songs. It's really good. Um, and so he was, like, talking to these two girls, and they were having, like, this deep conversation, and I, I had, I had drifted. I had, had drifted because, because I knew that I, I needed to get a picture with this man. This, this, this need, this need to have my face next to his face just rose up inside of me and I had to. I just had to. All I could think was, So I was like, made it up in my, in my little mind. Like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get that picture. And so he's he's having this heartfelt conversation with this girl. She's almost crying, and all I can think of is because he, he's getting his backpack on, and I'm like, he's leaving. <laughs> don't let him leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Because I've seen him leave, and he leaves fast. See, walks. And my brain is like, uh, need, need to contact, need, need, uh. Mm. Ah, mm, most direct. It's like when you're in crisis mode, you just don't think of social graces. It's like it's like when you're in the wilderness and you're you're dying and you're like, oh, oh no, pee is not a form of hydration. That's not socially acceptable. No, you don't think these things because you're just like, ah, I have to get sustenance. That was basically me in that in that moment. Also, in my defense, I had really bad cold, so I'll just, I'll just use that. All the mucus just went up to my brain. Anyway, so he's having this heartfelt conversation, and I just, so I shot up my hand, and I, I, <laughs> just shot up my hand, I was like, hello? And he was like, hello? And then, Continued to talk with the other girls as to say, "You, you have interrupted me, ma'am." In a very nice, he was very nice. About it. He came out. He came over me. And he's like, "What's your name?" And puts out his hand, and then in that moment, in that very moment, when he, when he put out his hand, he remembered that I was not yet five minutes ago the giant germ blob sitting behind him and 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 then I think it was just too late so he just hand turned into a fish that was the first thing where I was like oh no it's bad fishy handshakes are bad and it usually means you've done something bad so I I was already like in panic mode as I said bear girl survival social mode bad don't do it and i was just like 
Hey, so I could tell, you know what, I could tell that he wanted to leave. But, uh, I was being, trying to be halfway courteous by letting him leave, just like, not yet. But yes, I detained him a bit longer and I was just like, I could have said so many things. So many things. But no. No, no. I was just like, so, uh, I don't usually ask this, but could I, could we get a, could we get a picture? And he was just like, <sighs> I mean, not on the outside, but I'm sure on the inside. And, um, so, uh, <sighs> so yeah, so, and then he's like, yeah, sure. Cause he's a nice person, you know, but, um. So then I was like, yeah, but you should take it because you have longer arms. And he's like, okay. And then I was like, and we should do like a silly, like, or ugly selfie or something like that. And he's like, oh, oh, okay. You are best. But I love you. So then, <clears throat> seriously, this cat thinks I'm a scratch ball. Yeah, so I could tell he was like reluctant, but he was still a nice human, so we were gonna do it. And so, um, I I just panicked. My brain panicked. Like I couldn't, I didn't know what was happening. Everything was a blur. And I closed my eyes, and so I'm, and yeah, he took the picture, so I didn't, I didn't see it. And this is it. <sighs> So, yeah, not one of my finer moments, clearly. Made for one of the most awkward pictures in all of humanity, but I bet you will not forget me. And there were some other instances we interacted that were just lovely and odd and... <sighs> yeah, I think my dreams of marrying that man are dead. Also, I, I think he's dating somebody, but, you know, I like to pretend. <laughs> I don't know, it's like, it's weird when you've actually interacted with the person. Like, later I went on and I, like, I thanked him for teaching, like, one of the classes. Because, honestly, like, for me, it was more so, like, it's not the fact that he's a Hunter G.K. Thompson. <laughs> Where he's, like, he's, like, well-known, but not, like, you know, he's not, like, Kim Kardashian. Thank God. It's just... <laughs> I went up and I thanked him for teaching class because for me it was really just, he's, uh, reminds me a lot of myself I guess, and that yeah, sounds weird, but, um, it's just really cool, like, he's definitely more, like, introverted, and I'm not saying, like, I'm completely introverted, but I can relate with that, um, you know, he's, like, struggled with depression and isolation and, you know, all this, this kind of stuff, and you can tell he's a little rough around the edges like emotionally but he's still capable to be like god still uses him and he's part of bethel and he writes amazing music and he's probably like i think my favorite artist because his music is unique and definitely um has enough quality it's able to be enjoyed by both Christians and non-Christians alike and he does write his own music like he's not just writing worship music he's writing process music and music that's expressing his emotion and art and I mean you can see that in his worship as well which I think is extremely valuable um and you know he like puts his all into his songs and stuff and they really come from his heart and I think that's like so attractive as a songwriter musician Hunter's music has inspired me quite a bit, and I think that's honestly, like, what I find attractive in him is just, like, he gives me a lot of hope for myself and for other people, and I think he's definitely a forerunner of music, like, and he's very genuine, like, he's very just like, this is what I'm going through, and like, you know, if you can learn from this, this is awesome, and just like, his heart for people is so awesome. And I might not be all those things yet, but I, it's like at the core of my being, I really aspire to be someday. And so I think it's just really inspiring and, it, and he's able to give people a lot of hope because he's not like your typical worship leader person. Like, you know, he writes the emotional processy songs um, and he's just really real about his whole deal. And, you know, I think 
he's God's able to use him because he's different and I can also you know like I guess receive more like hope and inspiration as well because I can relate better um and see like parts of myself in him and then be like oh well you know what he did it and so there's like hope for me um so like I will never even on my best day I could never be Jen Johnson because she's not even like you know like I just can't even relate to that kind of person it's just not who I am and I feel like we're probably just more similar types of people so um it gives me hope that even though you know I've like struggled with things and um I'm not always like the best at writing standardly um normal worship songs you know like God can still use me like, yeah for me it's honestly really more so like the person that he is I find attractive like and not necessarily in a romantic sense I mean he's pretty flipping awesome so uh what can I say I think he actually has a girlfriend um but hello to Endomendo that's really it you know and I felt really bad. Apparently I found out later that he doesn't even share microphones because he's just doesn't like germs. Uh, so <laughs> I'm sure he ran away to go sanitize his body and bleach his mind after that whole experience. <laughs> and, and, and I feel like because he's just a very like, he just sees himself as like a person. I think he has like a really hard time like with the whole like celebrity thing like if people treat him like that and stuff um I mean I'm sure it doesn't like bother him too much but I don't think he likes it like I think he like wants people to be able to talk to him thing is I wasn't a freak because he's like a celebrity I'm a freak because I'm a freak and <laughs> like talking to normal normal people is like difficult for me sometimes so it's not like Especially lately and stuff, you know, like I think he was just kind of like bothered by that and I felt really bad because I'm like, no, I really appreciate the person that he is and like how God uses him. But aside from that, it's really just one kind of a crush on him. Go on, I might be like, <laughs> but um, no, he's just really cool. And then uh, blah, blah, blah. can't be in love with him when you don't know. So, uh, so I just, I feel bad because he probably felt uncomfortable because he's just like, oh, another one of these people that like puts me up on a pedestal and thinks I'm like, Jesus. But I'm like, no, I just kind of weirdly find you attractive and so just really awkward. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that man gives me hope hope for it after. So yeah, I don't know, that was a really weird rambly story that I might have told you already. <laughs> I think I tell you all my stories like 75 times. Um, but yeah, and but it was just interesting and I still have a crush on him. I really like am kind of paranoid that like he's gonna find my YouTube channel and realize like all the videos I have from worship you are of him and then like I've tweeted about him and then like serious okay look at these pictures. Okay. 2012, 2016, how does that happen, what did he do, it's two totally different people, it just doesn't make any sense, like, he's just a shapeshifter, that's the only, 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 that's clearly he's not, like, standardly attractive, but he's just so, like, People who have beautiful hearts are just <laughs> make it look like a brick. Make it look like a brick. I mean, a nice brick, but a brick. It helps. It's all I'm saying. It helps. This is my song to Hunter D. K. Thompson. Why are you so beautiful and why are you so far away? I saw you a couple weeks ago and 
and all the time you made my day and you are just so pretty but your heart is pretty too i have just one question and it's my dear can i love you oh my dear my dear why are you running away in fear <laughs> I had done. Totally just made that up on the spot. Bet you couldn't even tell. This cat is relentless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm probably gonna paint a painting of him at some point, just cause I don't know why. Cause uh, oh yeah, cause I have his album Swan Song, which is like his newest like solo EP, and I heard it's like really good, and it's better than Gabriel Cantos, which was his first EP, and is really good. So I, uh, I like. I'm a weirdo, so I have to, like, wait for the perfect time, perfect time to, like, absorb these things, because it has to be special, because if it's, like, really good, you know, I just, I want to honor the person that made that by making it a momentous occasion when I actually listen to it, because I want to be able to get everything out of it that the person put into it, and a lot of times, like, painting helps me, my brain, to slow down and sort of just, like, focus in on something for once in its life. So yeah, so that might happen, and then I'll feel even creepier. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, so there's, so there's that story. And um, as you can see, we've gotten a new cat. She keeps me up all night. Oh, kind of a pest, but I love her. So, so also, um, I've been working on some new songs. Kind of considering actually really getting serious about making some recordings because I'd like some money for traveling so I can like go to Britney's wedding and potentially visit you guys and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, it's been really inspired since Worship You like to sort of just get more serious about like music because I was like, you know, if that's like what I'm gonna pursue, I should probably just like actually pursue it instead of stop waiting for like someone to validate me and be like oh yeah you're good enough to do this like no just do it plus it was like really cool like seeing people like my age i guess like make albums or like recordings and stuff like that like i don't know why like because i'm 20 also another thing terrifying don't turn 20 because then you're like holy crap i'm not a teenager i can't blame all of my Netflix been watching on that anymore. You actually have to like be an adult. I don't know why. I feel like I should just have my life together at this point. But I don't. Really don't. So don't turn 20. Moral of that story. <laughs> pretty cool i have enough to make three eps right now right right now which is about the size of a very large one album but i i want to do it separately because there's like different components and stuff like that there's like different uh what do you call them Uh, different subject matters, as in, like, some of them are more, like, emotional, personal songs, some of them are kind of creative, weird songs, and then some of them are, like, worship songs, so I feel like that would be weird to put it all on one album. I mean, the idea of that kind of intrigues me, because it's sort of, like, almost, uh, a move towards, like, the ideology of everything is holy, which I agree. I mean, not everything is holy, but as in, like, our daily lives, you know, because Jesus lives inside of us, and he's made us holy, so it's not like church is holy, and then, like, reading a book is unholy, and unless the book itself is unholy, then maybe it might be unholy, but you is holy, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I, I just, I like that idea, but at the same time, I feel like it would be more, um... I don't know, it would just be more cohesive and interesting to put them like on separate albums, kind of like a whole concept in one one little ball. Um, I don't know, I'm still working kinks out on that. My real problem is the lack of drums. 
I do not have drums and I and I just I just I just I just don't want to use the garage band drums. You know, I mean they're cool but I have like things in my head that I want to be out in the sound world and it's just not possible all the time with garage band because they're just like already set up and stuff. And so it's just I don't know. I'm like either I need to buy a drum set and teach myself or I really need to find like a tight a meal with the sticks and his hands. Or her hands. Girl drummers are amazing. Also our girl bassist and pianist and vocalist and guitarist and accordionist and glockenspielist. You're all fantastic. Honestly, I think that's like the main thing. I guess I could do it without drums, but I don't want to like release my song babies into the world until they're ready to be heard, you know? Like until maybe they grow up into like very eloquent children that can not make people run away when they hear them. I just want to leave you with how do you feel like a question. So, like, interesting things God's been kind of, like, talking to me about is actually, like, my heart being home, which I didn't realize he was talking to me about until I read something, and I was like, oh, that's what that was. So, um, I don't know. Just think about it, like, your heart being home. I think I'll talk about that more next time as I get more revelation on me. But, um... I think I'm gonna do like an artistic study on it and by that I mean like I'll probably like write a song about it and then like write a blog about it and then paint a painting about it so yeah and then also a question like how do you feel about people like when people you do something and people say like oh you're so talented how does that make you feel because I feel a lot of things but I want to know how you feel because your feelings are important. Remember that. Everybody. All of the feelings. Important. Yay, I'm done. I am so sorry. Wow, this video is 48 minutes long. Thank God for editing. Help me out.